she's pretty. Oh, 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 hell yeah. Oh my God, that's so hot. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ooh. Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. If I look scary, that is because I'm literally trying to do my makeup right now. So I just need to finish up my makeup before I start filming. Today's gonna be such an exciting day because my West Elm dining table is coming in today. I'm also gonna be painting my laundry room. There's so much stuff that I need to do today. But first things first, I just need to finish my freaking makeup. Today, my goal is to not have boba. I've literally had boba the last four or five days now. So we're starting off with some tea. Honestly, if I get boba today, I'm not gonna hate myself for it, but the goal is to save a little bit of money because to order myself boba every day, it's like over $10. I told you guys this before, but I'm literally so obsessed with a new way to do my makeup. And so if you guys wanna see a full on makeup routine, because I don't wanna assume anyone wants to see me do my makeup, let me know down below because I swear it makes my face shape look com not completely different, just elevated. But I'm gonna finish most of my makeup up and show you guys the eyelashes I've been using. I just want to show you guys how I do my lashes. All right, guys, I just finished with my makeup. The only thing I need to do is add eyeliner and my lashes, and I'm so excited, guys, because today's video is sponsored by Glamnetic. Guys, if you guys have been following me since the summer, you guys will know I'm obsessed with Glamnetic. So if you guys have never heard of them, Glamnetic are magnetic lashes. And if you guys struggle with normal fake lashes, uh, these are so much easier to apply. They are literally magnets. They are the first brand to come out with lashes that has six magnets on it. They hold so freaking well. I literally wear these all the freaking time. And you know, if Doja Cat and Christina Milian are wearing them, they freaking work. So I'm gonna show you guys how I apply them. Their packaging is literally so freaking cute So here are some of the packages that they have and they're all hard cases. My favorite lashes are the Virgos I bought like four pairs of these already. These are my favorite. These are actually the ones I'm gonna wear today So you pretty much just apply the glue like eyeliner. It comes literally in a felt tip liner form It's paraben free. It's less toxic than normal lash glue and it is way less messy so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I apply that on so I'm gonna wear this as normal eyeliner So I start from the insides and work my way out and then I add a little bit of a wing Ooh. Okay, so I have my winged eyeliner on so next step is I'm just gonna grab my lashes with some tweezers You don't have to use tweezers. You can literally use your hands if you want to this step literally takes a few seconds It's insane literally so easy Hello, it's freaking magnets. I don't understand how this works. And as you guys can see, that took literally a few seconds to do. Look at that. The babies are on. They are nice and secured, guys. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna check out Glamnetic, you guys should check them out at glamnetic.com. Literally, they are a female-founded company, and on top of that, Anne McFerrin, who was one of the founders, she actually graduated UCLA the same year I did, which is so freaking cool. Um, we never met each other, but I feel like we should be friends somehow. So honestly, if you guys are very picky with your guys' lashes, you guys should choose these lashes. They are so freaking soft. They also have over 30 styles to choose from. I do have a discount code for you guys. It does expire in 24 freaking hours, so you guys better get on it. So it is 20% off the entire store, and that is using my code Miss Tiffany. You can even use my discount code on value sets, which are already 40% off. So you guys can get up to 60% off. But yeah, that is my full makeup look. The last step I need to do is actually apply some setting spray. Okay, so I think I need to change. Um, I don't want to get paint all over the shirt, so we're going to change into something not as cute. Hey guys, so we're in my bedroom right now. I'm going to change into another outfit that's not super cute because I'm going to start painting my walls. I'll be back. Hello, we have changed. Okay, guys, 
Before you guys say anything, I am wearing Vlogmas merch from Alicia Murray. This was like the only sweater I have that was in a dark color. I really don't want to get anything on this sweater, so pray for me, guys. Pretty sure Alicia Murray is no longer selling these, but just in case she is, go shop AliciaMurray.com. If you guys haven't watched my last vlog, you guys probably didn't see that I went to Edward Dunn yesterday and I bought a bunch of paint colors and paint samples because I want to repaint my laundry room, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, we're going to test out all the colors that I have but first I do need to holy cow the lighting in here is so weird I do need to actually like clean up this room because this is kind of our like trash room as well as our laundry room but it's also like our entryway to the backyard so I want this spot to be really cute okay guys to change of clothes instead of wearing Alicia Marie's merch and getting it ruined and being so sad and being warm I decided to freeze my ass off and wear less clothes and turn my heater on and put some socks on so that's what we're doing instead. My house is so cold right now. It's at like 68. So I bumped the heater to like 72. But let me know what temperature you guys set your houses at. Putting the heater on might have been a bad idea because I'm breaking down these boxes making me sweaty. Did I just say sweaty? It's like really hot in this little tiny room for some reason. All right, boxes broken down. So I just cleaned up this entire room so that I can like be against the wall and actually paint stuff. But I'm actually so excited about this. These are the five swatches that I have. I also have a black as well. Now, right now I'm geared towards this brown color or black because all the trim in my house is black. I think it'd be really cool to have like a whole black wall. But before we can do that, I wanna make sure that I like try out all the colors first. This is actually the first time I'll be painting anything in my house. We're gonna go with the lightest color. This is the color Adobe South. Here is the color we're gonna start painting with. Let me shake it up. Shake, 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 shake it up. Shake, shake, shake it up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's do it. Oh, she's pretty. God, this color is so pretty, but I think it is maybe like a two pink base. Okay, next color we have Retro Peach. <laughs> Ooh, a pretty light pastel peachy pink color. Or, oh, I definitely like this one more than the Adobe South. It's definitely more pink though, so I know Matt's not gonna love it. Okay, not bad. Definitely a little more like pink base than brown base. This is clearly more brown base. I like what we have so far. Next color we have City of Pink Angels. Oh, she's pink, pink. Don't know if we're gonna go for her, but like cute, very cute. For sure, not the color I want. Still a really cute color though. It's definitely way too pink. It's really pretty though, like 100% a color. I would have loved to paint my room in 2016, but being in 2017, I probably shouldn't paint this. Oh my God, did I just say it was 2017? It being 20 freaking 20, almost 2021, I'm 27 now. Probably should stop painting things pink. Okay, we have Tiffany Rose, one of the colors that I really like out of the bunch. But again, I think this might be too pink. Ooh. Wait, she's way lighter than I thought she would be. I thought she would be a little darker than this, but she's kind of light. I kind of like it. All right, Tiffany Rose, here we go. Oh, ooh, oh my God, she's so pretty. I think I really like this one, but it's so pink and I know Matt's not gonna like it. Guys, I like her. Okay, we're getting to the dark colors. Cliff Brown, oh. Honestly, I feel like this might possibly be the winner or the black one. Like, I just have a feeling. We won't know until I guess um, I ask Matthew because I want his take on all the colors as well. Oh, that one is so pretty. But is it too brown? My hands are cramping so hard. Okay, that was Cliff Brown. We have one last color that is black. Got a nice black. This is like a blue based black, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Hell yeah. 
Alright guys, I managed to not get any paint on me, but I want you guys to see all the colors close up. So this is number one, two, three, four, five, six. On camera, weirdly, I think I like the black and this color the most, which I was not expecting, especially at this time of the day. It actually looks really good in the house. I also really like Tiffany Rose, which is number four. This is way too pink. I already know for sure that's not going to be a color that Matt chooses. I really don't know which one to choose. All right. Ooh, black. I know, I really like the black too. I'm in between these three. I think these are too light. I think black is just so cool for a laundry room. But I also really like this color, and I really like this color. You, know, you can always change it too. It's a small room, so it's not a huge commitment. Yes, I know, but it's also a lot of work to paint. We're not officially decided yet. Okay, I'm still in between some colors. But like, I, did, I am, like I was originally always kind of geared towards these two colors. And this color is actually a little bit darker in real life. So you guys are probably looking at this color being like, it's so pale. It's not this pale, it's a little bit darker. But again, I'm gonna be probably like filming some stuff in this room. So I wanna see what everything looks like. If it's just like me. If I was like vlogging, blah, 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 Okay, Tiffany Rose. City of Pinky. Honestly, Retro Peach kind of looks really cool. And this is Adobe South. Okay, help me. All right, so I'm waiting for the delivery guys people to come today. They're supposed to come between 2 and 4 p.m. It's currently 2.30. They have not given me any calls yet of when they're coming today. What do you mean 2.39 p.m.? It says we'll be there in four minutes. I don't know if I entirely believe them, but I wanted to show you guys quickly what my dining room currently looks like because we're going to give her a little makeover. And here's a little sneak peek of the, the before and after. Okay, so here is what my dining room currently looks like. She's cute, a little basic, but she's cute. I think she's adorable and I have so many plans for this room so we're gonna change quite a bit of stuff in here I've literally been waiting for this table for like four months now I bought it in September I've been wanting this since I saw one similar to it we're also gonna change the lighting in here we're gonna change a bunch of stuff in here it's gonna look so cool we're also gonna change the rugs and stuff oh my god the movers are here the movers are here the movers are here so I cleared up the space for them so I cleared up the entire dining room I did it all by myself. Um, the movers are gonna do white glove surface, which pretty much means they're gonna move everything. Oh, they're here. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Are you the on the table? Yeah. Okay, so they're actually gonna go through this way instead of my front door. So I cleaned up my front door area for no reason. <laughs> So if you guys are wondering where I got this table from, I got it from West Elm. I got the large brass pedestal table with marble on top and it was a little pricey but it was 30% off during like the Memorial Day sale. Shipping is kind of expensive and on top of the shipping I also like to tip the like delivery guys so like pretty sure I paid like $270 just to ship this to my house with the $20 tip that I just gave them but you gotta always tip your like delivery men or people that like service you so I don't know that's what my mama taught me. <laughs> Guys, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, like I said earlier, this rug is not gonna stay here forever. I should have honestly just taken the rug out, but I knew this room would be really echoey without the rug in here. But this is what the table looks like. It fits eight people. We only have two chairs for this giant ass table, but like, it's so pretty, guys, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna put the chairs in it. It's officially time for me to buy some new chairs for this dining room. Okay, something else I need your guys' help with. How many chairs do I buy? This table actually fits eight people, six to eight people comfortably, and I rarely have eight people here, but like, it would also be nice to have eight chairs that match each other, you know? But I really like the house. Okay, so Matt wants to go on a little walk soon, but I just need to clean up the house a little bit before we do that. All right, we have everything back inside. Kind of gonna make avocado toast for lunch today, even though it's like 3 p.m. That's normally what I do. So I'm gonna make some food. Hi 
guys, I have my lunch with me. I also have some iced coffee with oat milk and a little bit of sugar. Holy cow, that looks so good. First bite. Oh my god. Mm. If you guys don't put honey on your avocado toast, you guys are missing out. That is so good. I finished my meal. It was so freaking good. Matt and I are getting ready to go on a little walk right now. We have Zoe set up on her leash and collar. But yeah, we're going to go on a little mini walk. Not like too long because the other night we went on like a, an hour and a half walk. She gets so excited when that collar is on her. Come here. Of course they ran off with oh, me. My legs are so short and tired. Bob. Ball, Matt's ball. upset because I want to go on a really short walk because I have so much work to do. <laughs> but I just like to spend time with you. So why wouldn't you want to go on a longer walk then? Because <laughs> I have to work. Yeah, you have to work too. Sense. Don't even. Look at her. Look at that little waddle. That little walk. Right, right, right. She's so little. Hey guys, so Matt and I finished our walk a couple hours ago. Both of us just did a little bit of work. And now we're making dinner. So... I think we're just gonna have rice with sweet potatoes and chicken, and I'm just sitting here making the rice for us. All right, it is time for Shark to eat. So, we have a hungry kitty. Hi, baby girl, let's go. You want food? Let's do it. Okay, never mind. I just realized her food bowl is empty, so we're gonna fill this back up. We gotta fill up her little bowl. And Zoe, this is not for you. Zoe just walked by thinking this is for food. Also, I don't think I've ever shown you guys this angle before. This is like my hallway to the house. That's Matt's bedroom is over there. And then our bedroom is right here. Yes, this is what we feed Shark. All right, dinner is officially served. We got some chicken, we got some rice, we got some sweet potatoes and onions. We are both eating at the table. <laughs> it's so big, we're so far apart. Look at all this space. Hey guys, so it's finally 11 p.m. It is time for me to go to bed the last few hours. Matt and I just had dinner and then we're watching the Takashi 6 9 documentary that's on Netflix, I believe. Um, but if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go check out Glamnetic. Literally, look, they're still on. I haven't taken them off. They're super comfortable. Like, I don't know what they put on their eyelashes, but they literally feel so freaking soft. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, go check out Glamnetic at glamnetic.com and use my discount code Miss Tiffany for 20% off your order. I literally get so happy when you guys answer the question of the day. So today's question of the day is, what room are you currently in right now? I'm currently in my office, as you guys can tell. So if you're on your toilet, hello. Um, hope you're having a good number one or two. And uh, make sure to wipe from front to back. Bye guys. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.